welcome back to my channel or welcome if you are new here. Today is a, another cooking video where I share recipes from the Into My Garden Tea Room where I used the tea room that I used to own. And this today is a very well-loved chicken salad recipe that we used to serve. We used to have three chicken salads. <laughs> we had the chicken salad elegant, the wild rice chicken salad, and the apricot almond chicken salad. Today we are doing the chicken salad elegant. It was the most popular one. So again, I will have the recipe down below in the description box. And hello if you are new here, my name is Jennifer as my channel name suggests, I do love makeup. I love doing all things makeup related, but I do throw in a cooking video here and there. I also open subscription boxes and I do talk about mental health issues. If you are into any of that or say you're into all of that, then I would love it if you would hit the subscribe button down below, hit that notification bell, and set it to all so that you're notified every time that I upload a new video. So, let's go ahead and get into the cooking portion of this video. Okay, to get started off with to make our chicken salad elegant i have cooked well i defrosted these if these are about five one two three four five chicken breasts that i'm going to use today i cooked these several weeks back and i froze them and i just defrosted them they are just cooked chicken breasts cooked with lemon pepper on top of them if you want to see me cooking them, I will link the video down below where I made my chicken pecan salad. And you'll see me cooking those. So we will need about five small chicken breasts. You'll need some sour cream, some walnut pieces or walnuts and just chop them up. Some dried cranberries, some mayonnaise, and about three... Um, three uh, celery sticks washed and prepped and okay we are going to dice up the chicken next and we are going to put it in our food processor I have a ninja blender so I'm going to put it into that okay so we've got it in the blender and now we are going to put it on medium. Okay, I think that's good. That is kind of how you want it to look. Put it in a bowl here. Just a second, let me get this in a bowl and I will be right back. Okay, this is how you want your chicken to look, nice and chopped up. So now I've gone ahead and put the celery in, chopped it up nice, I'm gonna put it on low. Okay. nice and chopped up you can drain this if you want but i kind of like a wetter chicken salad so i don't so we are going to take this out and put it in with the chicken and i will meet you back at the cutting board okay we are back over here we have the chicken with the celery and i have added a cup of walnut pieces and a cup of craisins so i'm going to take a glove and we are going to mix this up by hand i oops excuse me i will be right back okay i like to mix this by hand so i usually put on a glove 
make it all nice and mixed up. You can always add more, take more away. As you like. You can always chop up the celery and make it chunkier if you want to. Okay, now we are going to add one cup of mayonnaise. And half a cup of sour cream. You can always mix that together before you put it in here. I don't do that, but. And then mix it up. You can always add more, add less. Skip the sour cream if you want. But I think it. The sour cream definitely adds to it. Sorry about the no the squishy noise. If that bothers you. But that is our chicken salad right there. And okay, I suggest letting it sit in the refrigerator for two hours at least to let the to let everything cool down if anything is at room temperature like the mayonnaise like my mayonnaise was at room temperature because I just bought it and um, to let everything you know kind of sit together and rest usually the chicken salad is best after a day after it's set together for a day and but we are going to wait of course until Aaron gets home and let him taste it this was his favorite chicken salad from the tea room sorry if I'm shaking but um yeah so we're gonna let this sit for a few hours wait till he gets home then let him taste test it and see how it turned out Okay, see you in a few. Bye. Okay, here we go. We have decorated up the chicken salad a little bit. We have put a little orange on it and put some craisins on it, put a little cracker in it. Okay, Aaron is going to taste it now. Just a second. Just a second. Okay, Aaron, how does it taste? Is it how you remembered it? No, pretty much, I think so. Pretty much, how's it? Mm, it was good. That was very good, yes. Excellent day. You have anything to say? No. <laughs> you just want to eat it? With more. <laughs> very good. Okay, there you have it. Okay, and that is all there is to it. I hope you enjoyed today's video. Again, if you liked this recipe or if you tried this recipe, and then come back to this video and give this video a big thumbs up. Let me know how you liked it. Leave a comment. Let me know what you think. Anything like that. It really helps with engagement. And I hope y'all are all having a wonderful, fantastic day out there today. Again, the, the recipe is down in the description box. And uh, if you are not having a wonderful, fantastic day, I hope something comes along and sparks your day so that you can have that kind of a day. If you're having an especially hard time, know that I am thinking about you and sending you out all of those good vibes. Just remember to stay strong, stay healthy, and stay safe out there. And I will see you in another video tomorrow. Just stay well until then. Okay, goodbye.